what's up? We're going to take and color some antlers. I'm Josh with Antler Trader. This is Landon with Antler Trader. And i uh, been getting a lot of requests on, you know, people asking, how do I color my antlers? How do I do this? How do I do that with them? Broken tines, the whole nine. We're going to do some broken tines, but another, vi another video is going to be about broken tines. Today we're going to try to it's just little, color the antlers. It's in pretty good shape. There is a little bit of cracking and, and you've got your, your your dark spots of like moss and stuff. We boiled out the skull a little bit, try to clean it up and get rid of some of that stuff. We'll do bleaching on that later. Um, but for now we're going we're gonna to try to apply some color to these horns and hopefully we don't mess them up. There's a lot of, a lot of different ways to do it. There's millions of different ways to do it and not one of them is right or wrong. It really all depends on how you like it. Um, we're going to use a way that's worked for me. One of the ways it's worked for me, I've done it a million different ways too, and it all depends on, on antlers and the condition and, and even where they were and stuff. Um, first step, just your basic canola oil and some paper towels. Messy. Yeah, like it, it, it is messy, so don't do it in, in your wife or mom's uh, nice kitchen. That's why we're out here in the garage. I already got threatened. So, basically you want to apply the oil liberally. I mean, you want to put quite a bit of oil on these things. And the way I like to do it is, is pretty much just saturate a paper towel and, and just start making sure every bit of these antlers are covered in oil. I need one go ahead and just pour some of that. You do this, you want to let that oil sit on there a little bit. How long is pretty much, it just depends on the antlers. It, there's really no set time. I, I'll let it sit on there and then come back to it and, and test the spot or or check a spot, but you want to let it sit on there, make sure it gets in there really good. Make sure every little crack and crevice has absorbed it, um, or you'll have different colors in your horns, depending on how much oils where. Plus you got other areas that might be a little drier that just soak it up. So you might have to reapply a little oil there too. So we got it all oiled up. We're gonna let it sit. We're probably gonna let it sit about 15 minutes max and give her a try. So see you in 15. Alright folks, we're back. It's been about 15 minutes. And all the oil looks like it's done really good soaking in, so. Now we're going to give her a little bit of hell. I, uh, I like to use uh, just a piece of rag, towel, whatever, when I do this instead of paper towel. You can use paper towel to, to blend it in, but or to apply it, but it doesn't blend very well because it does fall apart. Um, color. Color is strictly up to you. I personally like using red oak, number 215. Um, when I do it, there are some other colors that Another I have. Another one that I use a lot of also, um, and this one I don't use. I only use when they're good hard whites, uh, not a lot of issues, because it is really light color, but it's early American, um, number 230. But when they're, when they're a little bit older, a little bit drier, some, some uh, cracking and, and stuff like that. The red oak has been the better one. Now this step literally takes time. Time and patience. Um, anything that you put on that you don't like, I use xylene to kind of thin it back out and remove it. Um, but for the most part, there's a lot of rubbing involved with this because the, the stain's not going to take to the antler. That's what the oil does. The oil makes sure that it doesn't just suck in like a sponge and, and look really bad. Um, so you'll be able to actually work this thicker in spots, thinner in spots. But this is, uh, and this color that we're using might not be right for these 
these particular antlers, it might have to take a different color. So what I do is I'll just start putting it on just like this. And don't get ahead of yourself, but don't overwork a spot too fast too soon either. Um, what I mean by that is don't go and try to do the whole set of antlers right at once. Do certain little spots and just kind of apply it and actually apply this kind of thick to start once it's on in the spot apply it again and see I don't know if you can see or not but I've got it literally just like pretty much dripping and see as I rub it from what it looks like to what it is it lightens up a lot and that is your oil that's allowing it to do that. For the base, just a cheap, nothing special, paintbrush. Oh, you can get it down all the burrs and trout? Mm -hmm. Sweet color. See, and it all depends on the individual too, as far as what kind of color they like. I think we'll leave that alone for a minute. So I've applied everything, thick, and then wiped it off. And we're gonna let that sit so for now, a minute. We've let the stain sit on there. We've rubbed it on, rubbed it off. It looks really good in some spots, some spots it's rough. So here we're gonna take, got another little rag. This one, a little play around piece. It's a homebrew color I'm working with. <clears throat> we're gonna take our xylene. Xylene works the best as opposed to thinner or any of that just because it doesn't it doesn't take it off fast. It's it smears it and just kind of Yeah, it's it's a little more mild. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find spots like the tips. We're gonna rub those. Really spots that are really, really dark. We're gonna rub those down. Lighten them up a little bit, basically. <clears throat> and this is the part that you just keep basically playing with until it's where you want it. thing is not not to dwell on certain spots yeah but if you have a troubled spot 
and you've done a lot of work to it already, leave it alone for a little bit and move on to the ant other spots of the antler. And what you'll start noticing is you'll start blending the rest of the antler with it. That's one thing that I've learned over all of them I've colored is I've sat and worked and worked and worked the same spot and to the point it's not work, it's just made it be completely different Band, in, in shade or stage. But if you leave it and start going back over the other part of the antlers, all start you'll too. start noticing that that spot that you thought was an issue is now you don't notice it. Yeah, on that tip, we can try to sand some of that smooth. Dude, I really like it. Yeah, it's looking good. I got like a 120 grit here, and basically with it, it's it's just you want to you don't want to sit there and sand and sand and sand. You want to try to get those high spots, the ridges, the the, the knob. And it, you don't have to hit them hard, just lightly. Do, do as many as you can really quick, just the light stuff. And you come back, after you've got most of the antlers, you can come back and look at everything and maybe your spot needs it a little bit more. Not pressing very hard. Have that purple tint to it. Just a quick wipe, not really a rub. Okay. I bought a lot of the high spots like that. Spots on the head. What are you thinking? I don't like it. So I mean, that's that's the thing with deer. There's there's not a perfect. There's no perfect color, perfect. You know, way to do it. It it just it's doing it until it gets to the point that you like it, or it starts to look right, in your opinion. But if you're trying to make everything the same, same lines, same colors, same shades. You're, you're never ever going to do it. You just, you got to pretty much do it to the point that you like it. And what we got Oops. going here. Which I think it looks pretty dang good. Yeah. I mean, I honestly don't think we need to mess with it anymore tonight. I need, I think we need to, to let it sit and dry because I mean even though it's, you can touch it it's still not dry mm -hmm. you know because it's porous and just like any color any paint any time it always looks different wet yep so well, well, well. there you have it for now I hope uh, what me and Landon here did tonight helps answer questions and uh, makes it to where you guys feel a little more confident and and coloring your own antlers and playing with them and, and gives you some ideas. Um, we're going to do a bunch more videos. We're going to do a whole bunch more videos on, on fixing tines, uh, stuff like fixing tines, bleaching skulls, um, coloring uh, different types of antlers. We'll even do some stuff with uh, antlers that are hard white to, to really chalky and uh, we'll, we'll do some different shades. But this is the first, first of many to come. Um, from Antler Trader to help you guys out. Uh, make sure to post your pictures and share with us and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and, and let us know how you guys do. And if there's something out there you want to see or, or have done, we'd be more than happy to uh, help you out, give you advice and tips. So I'm Josh with Antler Trader. 
Well, that looks later. And uh, good luck. Have fun. Go find some horns. Oh.